here at the World Economic Forum with Husni al uh General Manager of Microsoft in Jordan. Husni, what are the challenges that entrepreneurs face from an IT perspective? I think that entrepreneurs, they would like to focus on a problem and try to solve it. I think that putting their time, efforts, money in places that are not part of what they would love to do from, uh, from creation of or, or being an... Uh, uh, Getting the, the solution for the eyes they try to work with is something that will be waste for their time, efforts, money. I think one of the technology aspects is that some of the entrepreneurs that we are talking to, are most of them, I used to be one of them when I was much younger, is that to be able to look at the infrastructure of the IT, how many servers I need to have, how much of the problem that I need to look at, where should I host my data, how I can work, pay for all that cost of it when I'm expanding. and So this is a lot of time and a lot of effort that they, they spend. And I do believe that, um, which is I don't think this is the, the right place they need to put their efforts and energy. I say. So this is where I think that today what uh, companies like Microsoft and others is trying to give like cloud solutions for them, that it will be catered to their needs per user. I'm very honored to, to announce to you as you'll be one of the first people to talk about. We are in Jordan as in Q1 next year we'll be launching what we call it Office 365. Uh, Microsoft chose two countries from the whole Middle East which is one uh, in Morocco and one is in Jordan. Uh, from the region I'm in, not only Middle East, like which is called North Africa, Levant and uh, Pakistan. Uh, to launch the Office 365. The beauty about it is that you do have all the suites of Office in the cloud. So you pay a subscription, you don't need to, to maintain the servers, and to maintain the security, the spam, everything. It's just when you do have it in the web, you can access it from wherever you want and you can use it. So I think having these solutions for them, which is the, the kind of access for all what you need in the web, uh, on, on a cloud basis without worrying about all the infrastructure, is the thing a pain that uh, they shouldn't, shouldn't care about. They should just like somebody take care of this problem and they focus on the, what they are doing. About. And have you had to work with the government to um, facilitate cloud services? Like, are there any regulatory issues you've come if, up against? If, um, in, in both ends. So, regulatory, I'm, I'm also a board member of Intage, I don't know if you know, and the uh, audience about Intage. Intage is the association of Jordan that handles all the private sector of working in the information and technology and communication sector. So it's like a board that's been elected representing the whole private sector of an ICT. And uh, that's, that's been job been, 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 been in progress for the last 10 years. We do believe today that we will have a great uh, uh, form of uh, relation between government and private sector to allow, allow them to be able to excel on that. On the other hand, today in the morning we signed, um, it was witnessed by His Majesty the King Abdullah, uh, the deal between Microsoft and government of Jordan about the private cloud, which is again, you see, if we say that how much painful it is for startups to be able to handle all this infrastructure, trouble, problems, and everything, so imagine the, the magnitude of the problem with the government. So what we managed to do is we say that, you know what, let's do the private cloud. You manage that private cloud, you manage the application, but you don't need to worry about all the infrastructure of it. So to be in the cloud, it's a private cloud, so it's not everybody can access, it's only for the government. It will be very highly secure and they can do everything they want. So we do believe that from regulatory perspective and from even understanding the importance of the cloud and security of it, I think Jordan is doing well with that. Great. So Jordan's taken a step forward to lowering startup costs? Uh, not only for startups, also for them as, 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 as an operation as a government. I, you, you've been here for the last two days in the web. Uh, I think there are two more, very many challenges with all the pillars and the gates and everything. But there are two main things. If government today doesn't, any activity they would like to do, if it doesn't reduce cost for their operation and doesn't give a better service for people than normal, normal mo in the Arab world, I do believe that they will do have a lot of challenges. So I think that the Arab Spring is putting a lot of pressure for these uh, governments in the region in general and Jordan as well. It's a way to be more creative of finding solutions to reduce the cost that they are working on and to get a better service for the end user, the citizens, the citizens of the country. And uh, th this is great, great news for IT because this is what IT does. It's reducing cost for operation, getting better performance and making life easier. So I think that this will not be in Jordan only, but in other countries we'll see great uh, moves in that, in, that, in that way. That would be great to see. Um, are, so are entrepreneurs the solution to job creation? That's uh, what's been uh, discussed a lot here. What do you think? I do believe it's like, I've been, I've been dazzled with the last two. It's, by the way, this is not the first time they discuss this in the WEF. I've been attending this, I think, third WEF. And it's always been that job creation. We're having many, many millions. His Majesty yesterday said it's 85 million jobs has to be created in the coming years for the old youth is coming. I don't believe that we should focus on creating jobs. I think we should focus on creating companies and opportunities. 
example, if I'm a startup and I do have a business and I start to work it well, and you give me the structure to be able to work with that, with that as a company, and then definitely I have to hire people. So instead of trying to find where can I hire this individual in which place, allow people, entrepreneurs, to be able to, 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 to start their businesses and to grow it and give them the, the real support that they would like to. They will hire, and they will hire much more than you would imagine as a government or as a private sector. So, so I do believe that uh, entrepreneurs, when they succeed, they are um, definitely is, uh, is the solution, not part of the solution. I don't think any government today can offer 85 million jobs in the, in the coming years. There is no way that they can do that. Private sector also, we do have the existing companies, the big companies. So we, we grow, we grow, but in the percentage will not be that, that, in that magnitude to, be, to get 85 million. Startups and entrepreneurs are the one that we, we this is why I'm very excited of being back to Jordan and, and uh, to join Microsoft as their GM, because I do believe that there is a great things that we can do in that perspective. And uh, I'm very keen to work with the startup community in Jordan and in the region to see how we can really support them from infrastructure, IT, ideas, fund, whatever it is, to be sure that we can work together and to do something uh, better in the, for, the, for the sake of the Arab world, which is, I'm proudly part of. Good. Well, I look forward to seeing how it progresses. We will be always updating you on that. Good. Well, thanks for sharing Thank your you. insights with us. Thank you for your time.